What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Guts Luxray team that also features Life Orb Latios and Cresselia. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo, consider subscribing. I'm tired of yelling at you guys. I'm tired of telling all my non-subscribers to subscribe. So really consider subscribing because it does go a long way. Shout out to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. But like I said, Luxray over here is the heart and soul of this team. This is the Pokemon that we're trying to showcase. And this Pokemon is really good. It's a fan favorite in the Sinnoh region. With this Guts ability, it can hit like an absolute truck, so I cannot wait to showcase it off. Let's get into the team preview, starting off with Luxray. We got the Flame Orb as item. Obviously, we're going to use the Flame Orb because we have the Guts ability. If you guys do not know what Guts does, every time there's a status condition on this Pokemon, it gets like a 1.5 times multiplier to its damage. So once we get that burn going with the Flame Orb, this thing can hit like a truck. It can one-tap Pokemon left and right. Cannot wait to show it off. Nature Forest Pokemon is going to be Jolly. EVs are going to be Attack and Speed with the Guts ability, obviously. And then last but not least, the moveset is Wild Charge, Protect, Facade, and Volt Switch just to pivot out and switch out Luxray if needed. Next Pokemon on the team is Latios. And if you guys haven't used Latios in this format yet, I highly recommend it. This Pokemon is fast. It hits like a truck. It's just great all around. We got Draco Meteor. We got Ice Beam. We got Surf to pair well with our Storm Drain Gastron. And last but not least, we got Tailwind on this Pokemon for speed control for the battle. EVs for this Pokemon is going to be Special Attack and Speed with the Levitate ability. Nature is Timid. And lastly, the item is going to be Life Orb to make this thing do even more damage than it already does. Third Pokemon for the squad is going to be Cresselia. Cresselia is just great on any team. It's really bulky. It can hit decently hard and just great in most situations. In most situations. Nature for this thing is going to be Calm. I forgot to say its item. It is the Citrus Berry. EV's first Pokemon is pretty much spread in a bunch of different areas. We got a bunch in HP. We got some in Special Attack. We got some in Special Defense. And we got some in Defense. And I think we have a tad bit in Speed. We might have a tad bit in Speed. If you guys want to check it out, we got that Poke Pace down in the description below. All the EVs will be down there. Like I said, if you guys really want to know, go check the description. Levitate has its ability. And lastly, the moveset is Psychic, Ice Beam, Calm Mind to set up, and Trick Room, just in case we want to pop a Trick Room. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Scissor. And Scissor is just great on any single team. And he is amazing all around. He just hits so hard, and he's really, really bulky. X Scissor, Bullet Punch, Sword Stance, and Protect for its moveset. Fairly normal. EVs are going to be HP and Attack with a tad bit in Special Defense. And like four in Speed, just so we can outspeed other Scissors. Nature's going to be adamant, and lastly, the item is going to be Lumberry to take off any status conditions the opposing Pokemon want to put on my scissor. Next Pokemon is going to be Storm Drain Gastrodon, and like I said, this can pair well with the Latios because we do have uh, Surf, so Surf can hit the opposing Pokemon at the same time giving this Gastrodon a special attack boost due to its ability. We got the Leftovers as item, Nature's going to be relaxed, EVs are going to be HP, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense, spread all around, Storm Drain adds its uh, ability, and lastly, the amazing moveset of Skull, Recover, Earth Power, and Protect. Final Pokemon for the squad is going to be Arcanine. Arcanine is just so good at controlling the battle. This is like a normal Arcanine set that I've been using, but just switched them out from special attacking to physical attacking. This one has Flare Blitz, will o -Wisp, Snarl, Protect. EVs are going to be HP and Speed with a tad bit in Special Defense. Nature's going to be Jolly. And lastly, the item this thing is holding is the Figgy Berry just to give it some HP when it falls below, I think, like one fourth. I think it's one fourth, so it works out really well. But guys, that's pre team preview. If you guys want to check out any Poke Face, any moves, any EVs, go down in the description below, check it out. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ladder. Look to get some wins with this Guts Luxury team. We're hopping into our first battle for today's video, and we're going up against a really cool team. This guy is Typhlosion, Garchomp, Hitmontop, Breloom, Drapion, and Rotom Watch. So a bunch of strong Pokemon. Hopefully we can get started off on a strong note and grab ourselves a win here. I'm going to lead the Luxray. You know what? We're trying to showcase Luxray. I'm definitely going to lead him alongside with this Latios. Alongside with this Latios, even though I think he's going to lead that Hitmontop. Ooh, that's kind of tough because that would give me minus one onto the Luxray, but I still kind of want to do it. I still kind of want to do it. We're going to go Latios. We're going to go Luxray. I can potentially protect, set up a Tailwind, and then have Guts trigger and roll out from there. Next two Pokemon I want on the squad. Um, could go Gastrodon just for Storm Drain and kind of counter up on that Rotom, but I kind of want Arcanine. I think Arcanine works wonders here. He has a few physical attackers. We have Intimidate on that. We can Snarl physical or special attackers. And we can also throw Burns on a lot of these physical attackers because he has, what does he have, four of them? He has four physical attackers. So I'm definitely like an Arcanine. And then finally, last Pokemon. Do I go Gastron? I think Gastron could do good. Or Cresselia. I think Cresselia is just good. I'm going to go Cresselia. Yo. You, can, you can't go wrong with Cresselia, especially up against a lot of these Pokemon. So let's lock it in here. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, Luxray, cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. I'm hoping he doesn't lead hit my top, but I really do think he's going to lead it. Let's see. Reloom and... Okay, Typhlosion. I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. I really do like that. So I'm just going to like stay... I actually might protect. Do I protect? 
Do I protect my Luxray and get, gut get Guts to trigger? And kind of just get it for that way? Or do I just... Hmm, do I set up a Tailwind? What's my play here? What is my play here? I think I'll just set, set this up and I go for a Tailwind here. So I could just go into an Ice Beam. Hmm, I got a lot of options here. I have tons of options. I'm just going to Tailwind up here, protect my Luxray, and set this Pokemon up. I really do like this turn. I like this turn a lot. Let's see what Breloom's going to do. Is Breloom going to try to put one of my Pokemon to sleep? A lot of you out speeds everything. It's going to Tailwind. It's going to Tailwind. We're going to take Speed Control for the next four turns, and we're going to roll off from here. Breloom's going to Spore. That's totally fine. That's totally fine, but it's kind of annoying. Not even going to lie. It's kind of annoying. He's going to Spore me, so my Latios goes to sleep, and this thing's going to drop an Eruption. I'm fine with that Eruption, because, you know, Luxray, I think he just take out Typhlosion next turn with a Wild Charge. Um, Eruption's not going to do a lot of damage to Latios, and we're thriving here. He can't put me to sleep now, which is great. Which is great for my Luxray. Because, you know, weak Guts, we already have Burn on us. It would just fail. So we're going to Wild Charge into that, and if we can't get off an Ice Beam, which we probably cannot, because, you know, we haven't even taken one turn to sleep yet, we'll try it, though. Latios is fast asleep. Dang. Hate Spore. I hate Spore, but it's so good. Wild Charge going to poke with the Guts. Yo, get this thing out of here, yo. Luxray is beasting. He's beasting. And I didn't even check. Did this guy bring six Pokemon or four? I'm hoping he brought four. I'm going to cry a little bit if he brought if he brought six. He's going to go for a Spore, and it fails. Yo, what's he doing? What's he doing? Does he not realize I have a burn on me? Does he not realize I have a burn on me? But let me see how many Pokemon he brought. Please show me it's four. Please show me it's four. It's got to be four. It's got to be four. Because I'm getting tired of, like, battling people, and then they, they have six Pokemon. I'm like, come on, yo. Come on. Get out of my face. So he throws out Drapion, which is really, really strong. And he has... Okay, he did bring four. Awesome. I'm just going to Wild Charge straight into Drapion. I'm not really too worried about this Breloom. Once my Latios wakes up, we can hit it really, really hard with an Ice Beam. So I think we're sitting in a great spot for battle number one. Let's see if Luxray can one-tap a Drapion. Like I said, yo, Guts, Luxray, it's a threat. It is a force to be reckoned with. I think it's just a beast. It's just a beast. It gets it has stab damage already with a wild charge. And wild charge is big base power to begin with. And then add the guts to 1.5 times multiplier. No, dude, it's just huge damage. It's just huge damage all around. He also does learn Intimidate. So if you guys want to use a Luxray team, you could run him with Intimidate, which is really, really good. Latios is still asleep. That's a little whack. Don't like that one bit. Our wild charge is going to come out here and, yo, take out this Drapion, yo. That's some big damage on Drapion. We do not take out Drapion, but we get off some big damage. And let's see what he goes into here. Drapion's going to go for an EQ. We're levitated, and that says bye-bye to Luxray. Luxray, rest easy, buddy. Rest easy, buddy. But, yo, it's all good. It's all good. I wonder what Breloom's going for here. What is Breloom going for? Breloom with his little pinchers, yo. Look at that thing's hands, yo. I love that thing's hands. It cracks me up every single time. This thing is just going to go for a bullet seed. Uh, we soaked that up all day. That's easy eats, but so if he can hit five times, that can still be a huge chunk of damage. There's three for him. Yo, Breloom's too good, man. Breloom's too good. It hit three times. I'm cool with that. We still have, I think, one more turn left in Tailwind, so I can get out Arcanine. I can get out Cresselia. Cresselia's looking nice. Cresselia's looking real nice here. <laughs> I'm going to bring out, uh, I could bring out Arcanine for that Intimidate drop on two physical attackers. Yeah, I think I'd rather go for that. We're going to go into that. I can Flare Blitz over there. I can Ice Beam. I have a lot of different options. I have a lot of different options. And Ladio should be waking up this turn. Unless he's getting that dreadful three turn sleep. Which I hope he doesn't, but that'd be whack. Nothing's worse than a three-turn sleep. Nothing is worse. We're both going to poke out here. I'm just going to take out the Breloom with this, and then go into a Draco Meteor. I could go into an Ice Beam. What do I want to do here? I'm just going to go into an Ice Beam. It should be, be enough damage to take out the straight beyond here. I just the three-turn sleep. What you mean? Get out of my face, dude. Three-turn sleep comes out here. Flare Boat's going to roll out here. It's going to take out Breloom, no problem. This thing is a light. That thing is a lightweight. That's why I like to run that Pokemon with either a Focus Ash or having it substitute with the Poison Eel. Just to give it a little bit of support so it doesn't get knocked out in one shot. This thing's going to go for the EQ, and I think Arcanine should be able to eat off this EQ. It's not stab from him. Yeah, yeah, we soaked that up all day. That's easy. Luxray is just really light. Arcanine's at least a little bulkier. So Tailwind does Peter out. We do have a lot of speed on our hands, so I think we're fine. He's going to send out Garchomp, and Latios does outspeed Garchomp, so... I'm loving it. I'm just going to drop a huge Draco Meteor onto that thing. Take it out in one shot because we are waking up this turn. There's no such thing as four turn sleeps. So we're thriving here. We are thriving here. And battle number one is looking real good. Actually, I could go for an Ice Beam. But I'd rather go for a Draco Meteor because Draco Meteor looks a lot cooler. Ice Beam would do more damage because it's four times super effective. Garchomp. But Draco Meteor just looks cool. It just looks cooler. And you know, over here at the Jeans community, we like to have fun here. We like to have fun here. Draco Meteor drops. Garchomp, get on out my game. Get on out my game. If this was like a closer battle or like a tournament, obviously I would have went the Ice Beam. It would have done more damage and it has a higher accuracy. And it doesn't lower my special attack, but 
you know, like I just said, we like to have fun around here. <laughs> we like to have fun around here. This thing's going to go for a night slash. That probably going to take out my Latios, right? Yeah. Latios is gone, but it's all good. Flare Blitz should be able to come in here and pick up that final KO. And pick up the final KO, and Jeans can get started here with a 1-0 uh, victory. There's Flare Blitz, 1-0 to get us started. Let's try to hop into battle number two and show off Guts Luxray yet again. Battle number two coming at you guys, and I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared here. This guy has a phenomenal team. He has a Torkoal Sun team with Venusaur, Executor, Smeargle, Hariyama, and Snorlax. He has the Hariyama and Snorlax. That leads me to think that this Executor is Trick Room. So we're going to have to watch out for that. And in that case, I kind of just want to lead Cresselia. Maybe to prevent that. Let's do it. Let's go Cresselia here. Just in case he wants to go into the Trick Room combo. Smeargle could definitely come out. So I got to watch out for that. I definitely have to watch out for Smeargle. It's really, really scary. So let's see. He could lead Hariyama with Fake Out. I don't like that one bit. I do not like that one bit either. So we're just going to go into Crest. We're going to go into... Hmm. We go into Arcanine? I mean, Arcanine could be pre pretty solid. We could go into Luxray here as well. Luxray is not bad. We could go into Latios. I mean, Latios is pretty solid, but if he's going to go into Trick Room, we don't even want Latios. Actually, we are going to bring Latios. We're going to lead Latios. We're going to go Luxray, have Cresselia, and then finally, do I go Scizor? I mean, Scizor could be good. Scissor could be pretty good here. So I am going to rock out with the Scissor. Or you know what? I want Arcanine. I definitely want Arcanine here. Let's lock in Arcanine and lock in the full team. And look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But first battle went pretty perfect. Just the way I wanted to. We led the Latios. We led the Luxray. We protected. Got the Guts triggered. And we just rolled out from there. This guy's going to end up going in with Sun Combo. Which is a little tough. It is a little tough. So I could pop a Trick Room. But then Torkoal really thrives. I think could go for Sleep Powders. Oh, this is just tough all around. This is just tough all around. But you know what? I'm going to go for... I could go for a Psychic. Exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a Psychic here. And I think I'm just going to go into a straight Draco meter. I need to do damage to this Torkoal. Just in case it goes in for Eruption. I have to do damage to it. Sleep Powder should come out here. He's going to put me to sleep. Okay, that's fine. We're still out speed Torkoal. So we should be able to get off a big Psychic here. Which I really like. Oh, yeah, the Sleep Powder is just annoying, man. It's just annoying. Psychic's going to poke here. How much damage are we going to do? We're going to do a nice chunk. That's a big chunk to him. So big chunk to Venusaur. He's going to go for that Eruption. Kind of saw that my Pokemon both should be able to soak up, but it is still big damage. It's still scary damage. So we're just going to go into another Psychic. And I'm going to go into a Draco Meteor. I'm just going to go into a Draco Meteor. I have to do damage to this Torkoal. I'm going to go for another Sleep Powder, and it connects. Like, are you kidding me? Just Sleep Powder, Sleep Powder. Is this how this dude plays? Is this how this guy plays? He just throws Sleep Powders? We wake up. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Big old wake up here. And we're going to get off some nice damage with this Draco. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I love it. We just take out. Get out of my face, Torkoal. Get out of my face. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you, Torkoal. So Venusaur obviously is just gonna put me to sleep. So what do I do from here? What do I do from here? Just go into an ice beam. Like I th this thing is just gonna put me to sleep. Unless it misses. Like I think it's due for a miss, right? Might be due for a miss. Good work, Latios, with the easy wiggle. Snorlax is gonna come through here, and ooh, could this be a belly jump, Snorlax? Could indeed be a belly jump. What do I do from here? Try to set up a Tailwind. I am, I am going to try to set up a Tailwind just for speed, but I think he just puts me to sleep. Oh, he Sludge Bump. Okay. That's going to take me out anyway. That's rough. That is rough news. Cresselia, wake up, please. Thank you. Venusaur, you're gone. And now is this thing setting up? Why do I have a feeling it's setting up Belly Jump? It's either Choice Ban or setting up Belly Jump. If it's setting up Belly Jump, we're, we're, I'm scared. Let's see. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Why did I think that? Why did I think that? I just had an odd feeling that this thing was going to set up Belly Jump. This thing sets up Belly Jump. We still have some decent Pokemon in the back. I'm in here. I think he's going to eat his berry. And I wonder what his last Pokemon is. It's got to be Executor, right? It's got to be Eggs, right? It's got to be Eggs. So I'm going to bring Arcanine here. I'm just saving my Luxury for this back. I'm just going to save this. There's no Trick Room up, so Snorlax is very slow. So all my Pokemon outspeed him. And he's going to go into smear. Oh, dude, what is up with this dude and his sleeps? What is up with this dude and his sleeps? What is up with this? I, I'm, I'm a little confused. He could protect the Snorlax and try to put me to sleep. That could be a call. That could be a call. We are just going to go into... I'm going to double down to the smear. I'm guessing smear goes sash because, you know, most smear goes are focus sash. I'm going to double down into this and say maybe he protects. Smear has fake out. So he'll fake out me. Cresselia goes first. So we're going to be able to get off some nice damage here. And we're going to see what this, uh... We're going to see what this, uh... Snorlax is going for. He's going for high horsepower. Jeez, man. That's dead. 
Oh my lord, dude. Belly Jump Snorlax is a problem. He's a problem. He's a problem. We get to bring out Luxray. And do we think we get the Outspeed Smeargle? Please do not get a speed boost. Please do not get a speed boost. Special attack boost. Get a speed drop. Get a speed drop, please. Speed drop? Defense. Okay. Defense drop. Maybe Cresselia still outspeeds. We gotta bring out our Luxray here. And I have to trigger Guts, right? I have to trigger Guts, so I just protect? Do I just go into Psychic and protect? Like, we need Guts here. We need Guts. We need Guts. He does have high horsepower, so maybe he'll go into me with uh, high horsepower. Or he might read my protect. We shall see. We shall see. He goes into a follow me. That's totally fine. Cresselia is gonna go. And Psychic is gonna take out Chris, uh, uh, take out Smirk. Now it turns to a 2v1, and if he goes after my Luxray, we could be sitting in a good spot. We have Guts, and he has no double hitting moves. Just for high horsepower, we get the big block, yo. Luxray coming in, dude. Coming in hot, yo. 2v1 situation, Sun is gone, we have speed. Our Guts is triggered. This is gonna be a close one. This is gonna be a close one. Real close battle here, because Snorox can soak up shots. We're obviously gonna go for the Psychic here. I'm gonna try to get off some damage on that thing. And then do I go into a Wild Charge or, or a Facade? Facade's double damage, that's 140. This thing is stabbed, so it gets a 1.5 times multiplier. So cut 90 in half, 45 plus, okay. Ooh, Facade might do more, right? Facade might do more, right? I think Facade might do more, but I don't want to risk it. I think it does like five more. Someone let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna go for this Wild Charger. I'm gonna go into this Wild Charge because it doesn't matter if we take recoil damage. Because, you know, this thing's going to kill us in one shot anyway. Wild Charge comes out here. And who's going to take out here? I think we got this one. He already used his berry. Seki's going to come out here poking. And both of my Pokemon outspeed. So if he has a double hitting move, then he wins. But he doesn't. So he's going to go for a Body Slam. He's going to take out my Luxray, obviously. And it's going to come down to this next shot. Can this Psychic take this thing out? Can Cresselia clutch it up here? Psychic, let's go. Clutch it up, yo. This Snorlax is a tank. I have a feeling it's going gonna, it's gonna to survive on one. And you're going to see a grown man cry. A grown man cry playing Pokemon. He protects. That's fine. That is fine. You do you, boo. You do you. Protect ain't stopping the Psychic from coming out here. It's not stopping it. We're doing it again, and we're looking for this win. Come on, yo. Can we stop a Belly Jump Storm? That would be lovely. That would be lovely. This thing is just, it's just a menace. It's just a menace. Psychic's going to poke out here. Come on, yo. KO this thing. Give me the win. Give me the win. You're gonna see a grown man cry, guys. You're gonna see it. You guys are gonna see it. I'm just playing, but yo, that is so whack. Did we get a low roll there? I feel like we did, but yo, one and one. We gotta hop into our third and grab ourselves a winning record. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video, hopping into our third and final battle, and I'm still a little upset at that last one. I can't believe we lost to that Belly Jump Snorlax. I thought my Psychic was going to get a higher roll. I think he got a really low roll, and we ended up losing because of that. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. I definitely want to bring Luxray in here just to showcase him one more time in this video, considering, you know, this is a Luxray video. It is based around this Luxray, but uh, this guy is Infernape. He has Mr. Mime, he has Scizor, Hitmontop, Suicune, and Mime. So a pretty strong team here a really strong team here i think scissor is an absolute must to bring i think scissor can work wonders here i definitely do not want my arcanine because arcanine really doesn't do too too much here besides potentially triggering that myotix competitive but i think luxray is going to be great and i think leading this luxray could be good you might actually end up leading the him on top so i am going to go in the latios just for a nice little special attacker i might lead the luxray as well i can potentially uh pivot out with bolt switch if i have to and then what should we do from here what should we do from here Bring Scissor? Yeah, let's bring Scissor. And then lastly, he'll go into Cresselia. He'll go into Cresselia or Gash. I'm going to be pretty solid. I do like Gash, though. Let's go into Cresselia. Let's go into Cresselia. I do like Cresselia. Really bulky. It's great all around. We're going to lock that one in here and look to grab ourselves a perfect record. Not a perfect record. A winning record in battle number three. So let's see. He's going to send out the hit on top alongside with the mine. Dude, I should have led the Skizzy, dude. Skizzy could have been great. When Intimidate's gonna come out here, I gotta call for him, guys. So just give me one second. Give me one second. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I just feel like I have something like stuck in my throat. Weird. It's definitely weird. But he's gonna go in with, with Mime and hit my top. So he can fake me out. So I might protect my Lux right here. Or I could swap. I might swap my Latios. That fairy is definitely scaring me. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna protect my uh I'm just gonna protect my Luxray here and trigger guts and then roll up in there. That's definitely going to be my play. 1,000% going to be my play. Scissor's going to poke here. We can catch a bull punch next turn. And go from there. Here comes my protect from Luxray. Hopefully, Fake Out's coming into this slide. That could just be awesome for us. 
He's gonna go for fake out, and it is in Brent the scissors. So I'm guessing Dazzle Beam or a Fairy Moon's gonna come out here. Or just an Icy Wind. Okay, so Icy Wind's gonna poke, and I'm I'm fine with an Icy Wind. I'm fine with Ice Wind, because I'm gonna be using first turn priority moves anyway. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. So Ice Wind comes in here. I think a bullet punch could KO that thing. And do we the question is, do we even go into it? Do we think he's gonna swap? I think we have to pose that threat. So let's go into that and then let's just go into a uh, wild charge or do we volt switch out? I think volt switch could be the play. And just get that intimidate all for Luxray and then we can use him later. So I'm like, let's volt switch on Luxray. Even though I want to go into wild charge and do some big damage, <laughs> I think volt switch is just the, the better option here. Mime's doing his little dance. Yo, he's touching the walls. It cracks me up every time and hit my top's doing his little strut. Yo, dude, he's got two of the coolest Pokemon animations out here. He's going to end up withdrawing the mime, and this is why I want to kind of go into an X-Scissor. He's going to send out Infernape. So Infernape's going to come out here. We're going to Volt Switch out, and I think I'm just going to bring out Latios. I think I'm just going to bring out Latios. We're going to chip some damage away from that. Does Latios come out here? Do we bring out the Latios? Volt Switch comes out, and we swap him back. I could go in the Crest, but I just think Latios is the play. Latios. Right? Yeah, because we go in the Surf. We go in the Protects and Surf. Do dig that. Do dig that. So Latios can come back out here. Let's see what this dude's gonna go for. He goes for a close combat scissor, and scissor soaks all day. Scissor soaks all day. This thing's defense drops. I'm liking where we're sitting. I'm liking this a lot. This thing is rocking left over. I would think it had like the citrus berry, but it is what it is. It is what it is. From here, I think we could just we could double down in front of him, but he does have fake out. So I'm just gonna protect the scissor here. And I'm just gonna go into a surf. I am just gonna go into a surf here. Hopefully he fakes out my scissor, right? We're gonna hope he fakes out my scissor. He goes in the helping hand, and is he going after Latios with that? That could be awful. That could be awful. I think he is gonna go into Latios with that, but Latios does outspeed first. So we get off a nice, lovely little surf, get off some damage. Can we take out with this? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not, right? Let's see. Oh, we do, yo. Latios, I love you. I love you, Latios. Big KO coming in with the Latios. That is huge. Get rid of that Infernape and do a great amount of damage all that I hit my top. Now we can just bullet punch that thing and take that thing out. Jeans is liking where we're sitting. I'm loving where we're sitting. Great turn there. Great turn there. I knew Latios swapping the Luxray and the Latios was a great call. But I'm surprised you didn't go for the fake out. I'm surprised you didn't go for the fake out. But luckily, Latios outsped there because I thought... I think he was helping handing and then trying to get off a big damage shot onto my Latios in order to take it out and redo my protect. Because I feel like Scissor is like an easy Pokemon to reprotect. Usually when there's a fire Pokemon out there, you usually just protect them. But Milotic's going to come out here. I'm fine with that. We have our Guts Luxray like, in the back. That's going to work wonders. We're just going to go into a Bullet Punch here. And this guy brought six. This guy brought six. Are you kidding me? This guy brought six Pokemon. So if we KO four, I'm counting that as a win. I'm counting that as a win. I'm going to set up a Tailwind here. And, or I could just swap. Could swap the crest. Or I could go into Luxury. I think an Ice Beam is going to come through here off my Latios. You know what? I, I'm just going to take out the Hitmon top. I'm just going to go into Cresselia. Yeah, let's go into Cresselia. I'm digging Cresselia. I'm digging Cresselia. Dude, that's so tough, yo. We were doing so good. And then I looked up, I was like, yo, he has six Pokemon. That's so whack. It is so whack. He withdraws Hitmon top. That's fine. That is fine. He's going to show. One of his other six. And yo, Mime's coming out here. I'm cool with the Mime coming out here. I'm loving that the Mime's coming out here. Because we're bullet punching this thing. Big damage. And we just take it out. So terrible swap by him going into the Mime. Loving it so much. That's giving us another chance to complete this 4v6. He's going to go into the Ice Beam. Great read by us. We end up switching to Cresselia. And that's just tasty snack there. That's just tasty snack. That thing ends up burning itself with a Flame Worm. And I could potentially set up a Swords Dance. Or a Calm Mind. Let's see who he goes into first. He's gonna go into a scissor of his own. And at this point, I might just swap. I might just swap back at this point. The Latios. Sword Dance. And I can Sword Dance. This thing does have X. We know it's scary. I kind of just want to go in Latios at this point. But mm, it is super effective. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What do I want to do? I guess we'll keep Cresselian at this point. I guess we'll keep Cresselian at this point. And maybe we'll go for a freeze. I don't know. This is tough. He has bulky Pokemon, which I had to get rid of. We're going to go for a freeze here. Let's go Cresselia. Because I feel like swapping into any Pokemon could be rough for us. And we don't get the freeze. Oh, we do get the freeze. <laughs> we got the freeze. That's hilarious. This thing's going to set up an Aqua Ring. And we're setting up a Swords Dance. We are setting up a lovely little Swords Dance. Yay. Take that Frozen. Take that freeze, baby. Swords Dance coming out. Coming out. 
than you're playing games today. We're not playing games. You 4v6, we'll freeze you. We'll freeze you all day. That is hilarious. I was like, oh, we didn't get the freeze. And then it poked up. I was like, oh, we got it. <laughs> and this dude quit. Come on, yo. But, yo, we'll take that win. We go 2 and 1 for today and grab ourselves a winning record. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. Ended up going 2 and 1 and grabbing ourselves a winning record. First battle, we got the show off Luxury really well. We got the protect going, triggered the guts, and just ran the battle from there. Second battle, we got the show off Luxury a little bit more, but we ended up losing to that Snorlax in the end. And then third and final battle was a 4v6. We had a few funny moments and we ended up making our opponent quit. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.